truly the Hobbit haters. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This national government has failed, failed on jobs, failed on asset sales, failed at looking after our environment and our rivers. The national government has failed our children and failed New Zealand families. In the lead up to the Christmas break, many New Zealand families are struggling to find the light at the end of a long and dark financial tunnel. Families are preparing for the Christmas break, bracing themselves for the costs of Christmas Day and the Christmas traditional camping holiday. But these usual preparations will be so much more difficult for so many more families this year because of the national government's failures. National's economic management has again been highlighted, and their failed economic has again been highlighted, with the most recent LEED report, which confirms yet again that tens of thousands of jobs have been lost under their watch. And John Key has been cherry-picking the numbers now for quite a few weeks, uh, finding the numbers that suit him best for the story he's made up in his head. But the facts from government's own reports show the number of people looking for work has increased in the four years of his government. Thousands of jobs have been lost. Unemployment is up. And John Key's deliberate ignorance of these facts means that the families who are suffering from this economic failure are invisible to him and to his government. Perhaps this deliberate neglect by John Key of these families is because the government is far too busy attacking the people who are slogging their guts out to keep New Zealand clean and beautiful. Far too busy attacking the people who are working to protect our environment in order to protect our economic future. You know, if we want to create decent, sustainable jobs for those thousands of families who clearly need them, we must invest in making the 100% brand a reality, 100% pure brand a reality. No one, expects, no one expects it to be absolutely perfect, but they do expect that we will make progress and, in fact, we are going backwards. So let's not attack those who rightfully point out the government is putting New Zealanders' jobs and New Zealanders' incomes at risk by undermining the brand and allowing our environment to be polluted. We have to take these warnings from our own people seriously. And it's certainly true that the international markets are. And let's not forget that even in this country, families with very little money can still take great pleasure in the Christmas camping holiday at their local river but only if it's not polluted, only if it's safe for their kids to swim in without getting sick. And sadly, that is too really the case now in New Zealand. We protect our rivers not only because of the economy, but because clean rivers are the birthright of our children. And New Zealanders will fight for the birthright of their kids. That is why over 300,000 New Zealanders have signed the Keep Our Assets petition for a referenda on asset sales. John Key's pet project, uh, the government's asset sales plan for the year, has been a complete disaster for him and his government, is deeply unpopular with the New Zealand public. And we are very hopeful for a referendum next year so that every adult New Zealander can have their say on this crucial issue. Our grandparents built these assets for the long term and expected that they would continue in the ownership of their children and grandchildren as part of their birthright. The Green Party will continue to work for the rights of children to a family with a decent income and decent housing, to an environment that is clean and safe for them to play in, and an economy that truly invests in their future. Kilda. The Hon. Amy Adams. Mr Speaker, this week, uh, over the course of, of the news cycle and through Parliament, we have seen clear